Welcome to tutorial number one of the computer aided railway modeler called SCARM. The S in this name stands for simple. That surely must stand for simple to learn and simple to use because there's really nothing simple about what the program can do. It is really a wonderful program for railway enthusiasts. And best of all, the program is free. It can be downloaded from the scarm.info website. Let's have a quick look over there. The website is opened and when we scroll a little bit down the page, we come across the download link over here. And as you can see, it is freeware and also available in quite a few languages. My name, by the way, is Ruud. I am not the creator of the program, I am merely a enthusiastic user. The credits for creating this program all go to a guy named Milan Pief. Well, after you have installed this program and uh, everything went well, then we can start to lay our first track. Let's fire up the program. The first thing to do is select the track library that we like to use and if uh, we click this uh, left click this tiny arrow it opens up a list. For this example let us take an HO library and down the list let us go to the Merklin C track system. It opens up the library. We can scroll through the library simply using the mouse wheel. And also, if you uh, like to, you can left click the site and create it a little bit bigger or a big, bit smaller, uh, just to your liking. Let's lay some track. The first thing we need to do to lay track is create a start point. Let's say over here I would like to start. For that purpose we have this little red arrow in the toolbar. Left click it and place it on the board. There we are. If you like to use exact coordinates, we will see in a later tutorial how we can do that. Oh, by the way, these libraries, uh, there are a lot of uh, them already included in the program. But also here, if you like to create your own library, that is really simple to do. Also that we will see in a later tutorial. Let's lay track. The only thing we need to do to lay track is select one. Let's do the 188 and click it. And it lays it down. I can click again, click, click and I have three and they all automatically connect as we see. Right now I would like to go around the corner clockwise. So let's first select a uh, curved rail. Down the list I see the 130. I click it and now it does not lay it down. It first asks if I want to go counterclockwise or clockwise. I like to go clockwise so I click that and now I have it laid down. Okay, if you keep clicking this, uh, yeah, every time it asks if you want to go counterclockwise or clockwise, so that would be a little bit tedious. Uh, there is another very simple way to lay the last selected track, that is to use the spacebar. Five presses and I have a perfect 180 degree curve. Now I can go straight again with the 188 that we used, so let's click it and use space. Now the curve again, that was the 130 clockwise, one click to select it and a few spaces. You see that it automatically uh, closes the gap, so we are all set and done. We have our first track layout and it was, I think, only a matter of 20 seconds or less. See you back in tutorial number two, where we are going to look how we can edit a track and also have a look how we can uh, move around uh, on the board. And uh, to have available our oval, let's first save it, file save as, give it a name, let's say tutorial number one. Okay, that is all set and done. Save. Now we can use it in tutorial number two. See you over there.